my God. No way. No way. Oh my God. Bob Hoffman. Oh my God. Oh my fucking God. Oh my God. Holy shit. Tears running down my face. Oh my God. You guys have no idea what this means to me. Oh my God. Oh my God. No way. Oh my God. Oh. Oh my God. Oh. Oh my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Fuck. Oh. Richard Nixon. Holy shit. Oh my God, Ronald Reagan sent Bob Hoffman a congratulations letter for opening this museum. Ronnie, oh my God. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Oh my God. Oh my God, look at that guy. Jesus Christ, he's a monster. Maurice Tillett, the French angel. Looks like Andre the Giant. Oh my God, look at that old grip trainer. That's a bust of the guy's skull. Jesus Christ. Oh God. Oh, this is amazing. Oh my God. Letters from the Senate, from the House of Representatives. This guy was our Olympic lifting coach for years, Bob Hoffman. Oh my God. Look at that old barbell. How ridiculous. Look at these things. Oh my God. Oh. Holy shit. Ah, uh, the Sandow. Look at that weirdo. Look at that freak. What in the hell? The mighty Adam, world's strongest man? 
nine world records, pulls 28 tons with his hair, holds back airplane with his hair, bends horseshoes with his teeth, breaks chains with chest expansion. What an have look at this back, laying on a bed of nails. What a freak. Jesus Christ, this guy's a freak. Oh my God. I guess Bob Hoffman liked bears. Looks like Charles Manson. Dude, that's a sweet dumbbell. I wonder what that thing weighs. Slim the Hammer Man. That's a badass fucking hammer. Oh. Oh. oh my God. Bob Hoffman's simplified system of barbell training. Dear mother of God. And these fitness bitches think they can come up with new exercises. Everything you need to know is right in this book. Too bad it's behind glass. Oh my God. Leg developing. Abdominal course. Oh my God. Oh my God. October 1940. This is the holy grail of, or the mecca of, of, of the sport. This is, this is where it all started, people. Bob Hoffman and York Barbell. It don't get any better. Well, who's he? We'll call him Big Lenny. He doesn't have a name. Oh, yeah, he does. Bear. Carved by someone. I don't know. <sighs> Jesus, look at the circus dumbbell. It's been huge. The Chaffron Dumbbell. Huh. This thing's huge. Oh my god. I didn't see this stupid thing. What the fuck is that? I don't see many third place trophies in here, Dale. This is fucking incredible. U.S. Strength and Conditioning Coaches Hall of Fame. Cornelius Decon. Nope, he's not on there. This looks like retail stuff. They got a retail store here, too, if you want to buy some shit. Jesus Christ, how many plates does he have on there? What the fuck? USA Masters Weightlifting Athletes Hall of Fame. Incredible. Oh my God, look at this room. Another whole room. United States. Weightlifting Federation, the two-hand snatch, two-hand clean and jerk, lifters of the decade. This is incredible. Absolutely incredible.
Look at that stupid barbell. Wow. Outstanding national champions. ridiculous. Uh-oh. Miss America, 1980, the beginning. Carla Dunlap for Lenny. Miss America, 1981. Lenny has jerked off to that picture. I don't know who any of these babes are. Tim Bellcamp. I don't even think they have the Mr. America anymore. <laughs> Looks like the mighty Mensner right there, Ray. Well, that's Ray Mensner. He won the Mr. America in 1979? I didn't know that. I had no clue. Uh -uh. I knew. Everyone always talks about Mike Mensner. There you go, the original Hercules. Steve Reeves. Reg Park. The Hulk. Bill Pearl. Arnold. <sighs> Look at that. That's... There's all the exercises you need to do right there on one page. That's all you need to know. Right here. This is all you need. You people that are trying to come up with new exercises are freaking morons. Absolute morons. When everything you need has already been done. Shit, John Cole. That dude was a stud. Absolute stud. Pat Casey, first man to ever bench press 600 pounds. 1967. No bench shirt. Ted R. 
Seedy. 1985, first official 700-pound bench press. With a shirt, of course, but... Here we go. Look at this by decade. Amazing. I'm really not in, getting to take my time to read a lot of this because I'm filming like an idiot. Nineteen twenty eight. The classic three Olympic lifts, the two hand press, two hand snatch, and the two hand clean and jerk were first contested for the first time in the Olympics. Huh. Pretty fucking cool. Uh, the 36 Olympics. Nineteen forty eight USA Olympic team, Olympic weightlifting team. Look at that dude's short little fucking arms. That looks like Dale on the podium. What in the fuck? Huh. 1952 Olympic weightlifting team. Look at Snake. Fifty-six. Paul Anderson. You guys have heard of the Anderson squat? That's him. 1960. 1964. Look at those groovy dudes. 1972, far out. Seventy-six. Ah, 1980, the Olympic team that never was. We boycotted that because the Russians invaded Afghanistan. And look at us. Now we're the assholes that are in Afghanistan for 18 years. For what? I'll tell you for what. You want a truth bomb? We're there to steal their rare earth minerals that the tech industry needs. We're not there for terrorism. Rare earth minerals. Batteries in your cell phone? Can't build cell phones without rare earth minerals. Can't can't build electric cars without rare earth minerals. That's why we're there. Well, this place was pretty fucking cool. I gotta go back to those Bob Hoffman books. Where were those? I almost started crying when I found those. Oh, who's your daddy? Bob Hoffman, father of modern weightlifting. This is amazing. Oh, here they are. This is some over here.
Yes. I would kill to have a copy of that book right there. Literally kill. Oh my God. It's so amazing. I'm telling you, when you see these stupid chicks in the gym trying to create new exercises, I would, I would love to put them over my knee and spank them with this book until they cry. Oh God, that's, that's, that's it right there. That's, it doesn't get any better than that. Listen, I'm getting all choked up. Oh my God. Imagine Lenny in here. Lenny could spend all day in here. He would want to read everything. Lenny needs to come here. They would have to kick Lenny out. Oh, God. That's the greatest book I've ever seen in my life. That book created many a mass monster. Wow. Simplified system of barbell training. That's it right there. That's all you need. Bench, squat, bent over row, deadlift, curls, military press, maybe some skull crushers, calf raises with a barbell, front squats, stiff-legged deadlifts, throwing some chin-ups, you're good. You just trained your whole body. <clears throat> it's amazing. And, the, and what we see people doing, the retarded stuff we see people doing in gyms today, and all you need is this. You know, obviously some hammer strength is good. Some pulleys, you know. Some of that stuff comes in handy. But you really don't need it. You know, I, you're not going to find a leg press when you're knee deep in the muck in Vietnam. Holy crap, that's a little gay. That little guy's bigger than Dale. These guys got pretty good builds for the 1930s. This is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Huh. Father of modern weightlifting. This is the Mecca right here. I am in Mecca. This is where it all started, York, Pennsylvania. You guys have... Everyone's heard of York weights. Most gyms nowadays are too cheap to buy York weights. They buy the bullshit Chinese castings. He was Mr. America, 1944. 
most muscular man in America. 46. Mr. Universe, 1947. See, Genova was just born way past his time. Genova should have been back in the 30s. He would have been a weightlifting god. Oh my fucking god, is this locked? <gasps> Dear mother of lord. What in the worldwide sports is this? Jesus Christ. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This can't be real. Have I died and gone to heaven? Old glory. Holy fuck. Look, there's even a press box. Are you kidding me? There's a motherfucking press box. Balcony. Oh my God. Oh, I wonder when the last time this was used. You've got to be kidding me. This is just too much. I can't take it. I really can't take it. Oh, fuck me. Oh, look at these weights. Oh, those are 100 pound plates. They're painted gold. Oh. oh, my God. The gold ones are hundreds. If these weights could talk, the champions that have touched this iron. Wow, incredible. Oh. If you think you could get up for a big lift in this auditorium? Wow. Holy shit. Oh, this place is unbelievable. Not sure if I was supposed to go in there. I better shut the door. Wow. This is just amazing. Did I film the retail store yet? They sell stuff in here. Where is the store? I forget. Oh my God. I, I, I think we should do a GoFundMe to bring Lenny here. Because he's from Pittsburgh anyway, so he could do a bunch of stuff while he's here. Shit, there's an elevator. What the fuck's upstairs? Imagine what an asshole Genova would be if he was here. Authorized personnel only. Oh, York Barbell offices are upstairs. Dude. We could get Lenny sponsored by them. Oh, look at the old magazines. Oh, my God. Lenny would re literally blow a load if he saw this. 1955 to 1957. 1958, 59, 60, 61. Oh, my God. They got the complete set. They've got... Oh, oh my God. You guys have no idea.
health system courses one and two. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Genova. That sign is for people like Genova. You know he would have to touch this barbell. Traverse City, Michigan. You know, and I think Dale's got a bunch of third place trophies around his house. Hey, look, they got weights for you, Dale. Whoa, this is a nice setup right here. I don't know if you guys can see the chin-up bar. There's a chin-up bar on the front of the squat rack. Lat pull-down attachment. Oh, it's even got a low pulley row, too. Two and one. Leg extension, leg curl. Here you go, people. Everything you need right here. That's what it would cost you. Well, then you'd have to buy the weights. I think I'm going to buy a t-shirt. Did you find that shirt? Cool. Do you get weirdos like me in here all the time? That... No, you want it the one down here, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I literally almost started crying when I saw those Bob Hoffman books. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. It means a lot to me. That's really cool. Honestly, I haven't had 3XL in here until yesterday. Cool. So we just get, we never had them until like yesterday. I got some because people do request them. Yeah. I don't know if you're trying to take a picture or not. I'm just yeah, yeah, I'm them. filming you. I'm you're, you're, you're famous now. Oh, cool. Just show yeah. them the fans. Show the fans the front. Yep. There you go. Cool. Yeah, you're, you're actually buying my first ever 3XL, so. All right. All right, guys, I got to wrap it up. I got to buy this shirt. I'll talk to you guys later. Yeah, they, um.